Shout out to the EA Creator Network for allowing me to capture this early Madden 24 footage. And just remember that all Madden 24 footage is a work in progress. Here's a breakdown of the five best teams in Madden 24. Honorable mention goes to the Bengals, the Bills, and the Cowboy lineups. As you see, with the Cowboys, they just, they're stacked everywhere. The issue with them is Dak Prescott does not have a QB ability yet. The Bills are insane. Their defense is just a little lacking. And with the Bengals, I feel like it's a mixture of both offense and defense. A little, uh, they're just not fast enough. But if you want a more in-depth breakdown of some of these other teams that I may not list in this video, let me know in the comments and I got you. Coming in at number five, we're gonna go with the Baltimore Ravens. And I know I did this video last year and I think the video year before that, and a lot could change. I think last year I had the Cardinals in my video and the Packers in. I mean, what happened, man? Like those lineups are not, you know, it's just unfortunate what happened to them. But with number five, and just remember guys, these, these ratings are subject to change. A lot of them are not fully updated. Um, this is what I saw through the beta and just in general with the abilities. Number five, Baltimore Ravens. With Lamar, you know, he does not have the uh, passing QB cam. He has jukebox, tied out, and fast break. The thing with Lamar is he has 96 speed, and this is a QB mobile meta where you're going to be able to dash and run and take off out the pocket. And I'll show you that in a little bit. Dobbins as your running back. We got OBJ, Aguilar, Bateman, and then Andy Isabella and Duvernay as a receiver. So they're definitely stacked at receiver. Fortunately, none of them have a chemistry or ability. Mark Andrews, he's gonna have that tight end apprentice, mid and elite, a matchup nightmare. Very solid receiving group for the Ravens. Their old line, Ronnie Stanley with the edge protector, secure protector. You got Kevin Zietler, 85 overall, and then Morgan Moses on the right side. So honestly, a pretty solid old line. Their D line is an issue. I mean, they got Michael Pierce, he's a great run stuffer, just not really good in the pass rushing game. They got Owe, who's 89 speed, so he's an amazing blitzer. This is a really like good team for man blitzing. If you love to run man, if you love to blitz, which might be meta in Madden 24, this is the team for you. We got Roquan Smith and Patrick Queen. Roquan got Deflator, Tackle Supreme, Mid Zone KO. I honestly recommend you put one of these guys on the D line if you're allowed to in your defensive set. And then here we go with their secondary. Their secondary is definitely the star of their defense. We got Marlon Humphrey with inside zone. Marlon Humphrey with inside shade, deep route KO, and short route KO, looking like a muck cornerback in Madden 23. Mullen and Sin with 90 speed and then Armour Davis with 93 speed. Very solid cornerback options. Marcus, William up, Marcus Williams up top with 89 speed. Finally, we've got Kyle Hamilton, 6'4", probably the user for the Ravens. Honestly, this is a very solid team coming in at number five. And you know why they're number five is because Lamar Jackson has 96 speed. See right here, guys, if you want to run with the Ravens, I highly recommend running the ball. And if you're not doing that, I highly recommend something like bunch tight end where you're able to escape the pocket with Lamar. And let me just show you how OP Lamar really is in this game. See right here, we're gonna take off. I know I didn't set the line. Um, you know, the more yards, the better right there. But you see, he was able to escape the pocket and make a nice pass. So, I mean, like I said, Ravens, really good team. You got Lamar, and then you also got Mark Andrews who is gonna be able to have this uh, tight end cam with you know extra routes, post routes, corner routes, angle routes, and the Ravens are definitely a very good option in this game, especially with how good Lamar is. You see right here, we did overthrow it. That's gonna happen sometimes, but it's more of the thought of you know Lamar in the open field, which makes me put him at number five. Coming in at number four, guys, we're gonna go with the Super Bowl runner-ups, Philadelphia Eagles. And first thing I want you guys to know, Jalen Hurts now does have abilities. He has Gunslinger, Fast Break, Anchored, Extender, and Jukebox. Don't peep that 74 overall. It really doesn't mean anything. He's obviously not at 74. Like I said, a lot of these, you know, Madden 24 content, early content is a work in progress. He's only gonna go up in overall by the day the game comes out. I assume probably 83, 84, maybe even 85 overall. Let's get into why the Eagles are number four for me. Swift and running back, you got plenty of uh, running back options with Penny and Scott. AJ Brown, um, you know, he has a wide receiver and apprentice. So, you know, that's a big thing. You have a wide receiver cam with him. Devontae Smith, he's going to be open all the time with 91 speed and great route running and great overall. And Quez Watkins, 98 speed, take the top off the defense at any given moment. And he's six foot tall. Goddard, who they did now give short out and mid out of uh, elite. I mean, this is a really good tight end option for the Eagles. A lot of ground and pound and, you know, short, nice, medium passes to the tight end and the receivers. 
Their O line is insane. 84 overall, 75 overall, 90 overall. Kelsey with screen protector, natural talent. 68 overall, and then Lane Johnson, 92 overall, will fool me once in Nasty Streak. I wish they had an edge protector. Um, that definitely hurts because a lot of these guys now have edge threats, but they're still very good. Brandon Graham, Josh Sweat, 85 speed. Fletcher Cox, he's gonna have under pressure and secure tackler. Hassan Reddick, 87 speed. He's gonna have edge threat, no outsiders, and strip specialists. And then from there, you know, these rookies are gonna be notched up a little bit, in my opinion. We got N'Kobe Dean, and then a um, couple linebackers. Their secondary needs a little bit of work, but they got Acrobat, Deep Route Kale, and Inside Shade on Darius Slay. Bradbury's very good. Maddox is solid. Uh, Greedy Williams, 93 speed. I mean, uh, what was I saying? These dudes are really, actually, like, really good. I didn't even realize how fast. Uh, I didn't even know they picked up Greedy Williams, and then I should have known they had Maddox. So their secondary is actually way better than I thought. Um, and then they got this rookie named McCollum with 93 speed, and he's 6'3". Might be the user. They picked up Edmonds, who's 90 speed. And I mean, that's, this is a very solid roster. You know, nothing too flashy on paper besides that 98 speed Quez Watkins. If you run with the Eagles and you're thinking of an offense to use, I highly recommend something where you could, you know, run the ball and, you know, take advantage of their O-line. And when you need to pass, you could just hop out and, you know, throw a dot with that gunslinger, Jalen Hurts. Gunslinger is very underrated, even though he doesn't have passy to lead. I feel like you could get, get away with using gunslinger. See right here, we're gonna dot up with Mr. Hurts and, you know, Right there, had we had our 98 speed guy, that's a touchdown. Nonetheless, it's still a top with Gunslinger and Mr. Hurts. That's why the Eagles are number four for me. You can really just control the game and control the pace of the game with the running inside zones, their O line, and then, you know, on defense, you just play a little bend, don't break, and you'll eventually get a stop. Coming in at number three for me is gonna be the Los Angeles Chargers. I'm pretty sure they made the top five last year. They were actually roided out last year. This year, about the same you know they're about the same they made the playoffs they stayed pretty much uh, neutral i think they didn't really lose anyone either they got herbert who has passing the lead sideline dead eye high point dead eye only issue with herbert is how good is his release going to be you know is it going to be like in years prior where people didn't really enjoy it or are they going to finally be able to use it that's something i have to test that's something you guys have to test as well um, something I probably should have tested before making this rankings video, but bro just once you see this roster You're gonna understand why they're in the top three. I mean Eckler got backfield master extra routes You know angle routes were super OP last year goal line back if you're struggling in the goal line You could get there and then energ energizer with wrecking ball So, you know once you get Austin Eckler in the zone He's gonna be going crazy and then the receiving depth is insane. You got Keenan Allen. I wish he had Slot Apprentice. I don't know why he doesn't have Slot Apprentice. I feel like he's, you know, that in-between slot type of guy. But nonetheless, at least he has an ability outside Apprentice, mid-out elite, and then slot matic So that slot matic I've heard really good things with that max security. Um, line him up in the slot. I know you might be wasting his outside Apprentice, so maybe line him up outside when you need to. And then obviously we got Mike Williams, who also has outside Apprentice. So two outside Apprentice corner routes. Um, post routes, this is what would we needed last year if you played regs because they were insane those corner routes Those corner routes were insane last year We all remember the high balls and then guy in as well with that 93 speed Do we remember Donald Parham jr. 84 speed? You're not losing any speed. You might be losing a little overall, but guess what? He's 6 8 and like I said these uh, overalls are subject to change uh, Rashawn Slater we got Corey Lindsley 91 overall so they don't have any O-line abilities, so that might be a little tough. But once you see this defense, you're going to be like, okay, this is why we use this team. We got Bosa, edge threat, no outsider swim club. We got Eric Kendricks, new pickup, 85 speed. He did have an ability last year. I'm curious to see if he gets an ability this year. Kenneth Murray, Nick Neiman. I feel like if you run with this team, you might want to run like 6-1 or something. I might show you guys that in a second, what that would look like. Cleo Mack, 89 speed, and then you obviously know he's going to have an ability edge threat, no outsiders, and strip specialist. And here we go, their secondary. JC Jackson, who was hurt last year, man. A very unfortunate injury. Uh, I'm expecting him to bounce back and maybe get his uh, ability back. I know he had one last year. Sante Samuel, Mike Davis, six foot two. And then this Leonard rookie, six foot three. Excuse me, this Leonard rookie with 93 speed. So they got speed everywhere in their secondary. Um, right here, JT Woods, also a rookie, six foot two, 94 speed. And then obviously, how could we forget about Big Derwin? Um, he's gonna have unfakeable lumberjack and flat zone KO. I wish he had like, you know, um, I don't know, maybe like a mid zone KO, that would have been better. But yeah, flat zone KO, better than nothing. 
for the Chargers and Derwin James. So like I was saying, you know, if you run with the Chargers, you might want to mess around with this 4-6, uh, even 6-1. Uh, In other words, everyone knows about it last year. You could put Sante Samuel here, or, you know, we could put JT Woods up top. The possibilities are endless. You know, you could put Derwin at corner if you want to run zone or put him up top. And, you know, there's just too many corners. So, like, let's just say you get him on a fourth down, third down, you go into dollar and you put in all your goons, dime or dollar, whatever it is. But, yeah, I mean, 6-1, we got Cleo Mack and Bose on the edges with edge threat. You know, they're going to go crazy. Um, if you even want, you could put Bose on the inside and just sub it out for some speed with Kenneth Murray. We'll just do that for the sake of the video. And then, you know, Mac, we can move around and put Neiman because he has 84 speed or 89 speed. Put Mac on the inside. So, like I said, there's a lot of possibilities with this team. Um, you can run man, you can run zone. And that's kind of what they're looking like on the defensive side of things. Obviously, on offense, they're pretty nasty as well. But I'm just going to show you how the 6 1 be screaming nowadays in regs and just in general. Obviously, I don't even know the setup. I'm literally freestyling. But, you know, I'm, I'm expecting to get a little bit of pressure right here. Boom. We're going to get insane pressure with Joey Bosa. I know you guys saw that right there. And honestly, everyone was kind of bagged up. We'll see what they, the, the defensive adjustments look like. And, you know, the running back was open. That was my responsibility. Um, I was kind of just looking at the pressure. And see right there, nasty pressure from Bosa. And that's why the Chargers are number three for me. Coming in at number two, we're going to go with the Super Bowl winning champions, the Kansas City Chiefs. And I'm going to show you why here. Hara Master for Mahomes. Only QB in the game with Hard Master. He's the best QB in the game. This is really a toss up. Two and one. You obviously guys know what number one is if you're watching this video. They haven't been named yet and they just had crazy offseason. But I mean, I don't know, man. I, I don't know. This is one of the better QBs we've had in Reg's history. Hard Master, Dashing Dead Eye, Red Zone Dead Eye, No Look Dead Eye, Pass Lead Elite. I'm going to speed through this. We got uh, Edwards Hilaire. We got Tony. We got Sean Ross on this team. I don't know. This might be the number one team in my opinion now. I might change my mind, but we're going to leave them at number two for now. We got Valdez, Scantling. We got Travis Kelsey, who has tight end press, but guess what? You don't even need it because Mahomes has a heart master. O-line looking all right. Can't complain. Got a couple 70s over, uh, 80 overalls in there. Um, their D-line and their defense has always been an issue for me, right? So we got Chris Jones still. Um, I think he has El Toro, and he also has under pressure. We got Nick Bolton, 87 speed with uh, Chanel. Chanel, I don't even know how to pronounce his name, 88 speed. So solid linebackers with Willie Gay and uh, this rookie Jack, 87 speed. So you can run 6-1 with this team as well. It's looking like Trent McDuffie and uh, Sneed are going to be carrying your secondary hard. Uh, they got Boodle, who's, you know, pretty good, uh, 91 speed depth guy. And then uh, Justin Reed, 93 speed as well. So their secondary, honestly, I can't complain. Uh, Nazi. Nazi we're going to say Johnson right here with 93 speed. He's a little bit lower in the overall, but they also got Mike Edwards. So, you know, this defense is just a right on par with how it's been in the past few years. That offense, though, is going to be bombs away. See right here, we got Mahomes and Rags. And, bro, like, you could cook any route combo you want with this guy. I mean, look at this guy. He's absolutely insane. Don't mind this route combo. I'm just freestyling right now. We're going to call hike, and we're going to go and take off and... Phew, I mean, this team might be this might this might be the best team, honestly. I mean, for for now, we're gonna leave him at number two. But wow, Mahomes and company, this uh, lineup is insane. We got Pacheco out there as well, and we're just throwing dots. You know who is that right now? MVS, who balled out last playoffs for them, and that's the Chiefs, man. You could really do anything you want with this team and this offense. Um, highly recommend passing if you love to pass. This is your team. See right here, everyone is open, and that play I'm running might be meta. I don't know. This this MVS is cooking on this play, but with Heart Master, you can really do anything you want. Boom, we're gonna cook up, put Kelsey on a corner route. Boom, 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 and he's wide open. So, if you love passing the ball, if you love the Chiefs and how they play, they're perfectly represented in this gameplay in this Madden 24 uh, early capture. And see right here, Heart Master, and then he has Bazooka as well. So we're gonna be able to launch that ball. For days and days coming in at number one we're going to go with the new york jets did you guys guess it i mean it was pretty obvious they got a rod now gunslinger roaming dead eye pass lead elite got bryce hall michael carter a few running backs right there um and they're receiving like i mean look at the receivers they got mccall hardman 97 speed newly added randall cobb if you like the slotomatic guys uh 90 speed 
Corey Davis, who's six foot three. I'm looking for Garrett Wilson, who we already know he's gonna be a baller when the game comes out. Trust me, he's not a 76 overall. These ratings aren't fully accurate. He's probably a projected 85 plus. I would even give him like an 88, maybe even a 90, but we'll see what they end up giving him. And then Alan Lazard too. Six foot five, 90 speed. But those ratings aren't fully updated. We got a few good tight ends right here, Uzama and Conklin. Their O-line is honestly pretty solid. Uh, you know, we got Mikai Becton with Puller Lee and Nasty Streak. But their defense is really solid. This is what makes them number one over the Chiefs is that they have, you know, a really good defense. We got Carl Lawson. We got Quinnen Williams who has Unpredictable and El Toro. We got CJ Mosley. And their secondary is pretty solid. So we got 90 speed DJ Reed, who has really good zone, really good stats. Bryce Hall, also really good zone, I believe 80 plus. Sauce Gardner, he's got inside shade, acrobat, and deep out zone KO. Jimmy Moreland, probably a really good dollar blitzing cornerback. Michael Carter, 93 speed, also the same. You could put him anywhere. Gidry, who, I mean, he's a baller. He's been a baller for regs lineups for many years 96 speed. And then we got Eccles with 93 speed. So you see now why they're number one. They have plenty of depth. Uh, and then, you know, Jordan Whitehead, pretty good stats. You can put out a linebacker. This is my user when I use him in the beta. Ashton Davis, 92 speed, 6'2". And then they picked up Amos. They went on and gone. They went ahead and picked up Adrian Amos. Very solid safety for many years. Um, he's got 91 speed and then he's 88 overall with pretty good stats and then Chuck Clark as well And with the Jets man, you can really run anything you want a rods release We all know how good it is uh, Especially with gunslinger and pass lead elite and you know, we're just gonna we're just gonna showcase how good this team really can be On both sides of the ball. I mean right here We're just gonna call hike and you know one thing about a rods release It's not as good as it used to be But you're able to throw toss like that to rookie of the year winner Garrett Wilson and I can't wait to see what people run and what they do with the Jets. Um, they're actually really, really good in this game. See once more, that Slinger 1 release is going to be cooking for you. I know that wasn't really the best showcase of it, but I got stuck and bumped up. And that's the Jets, number one best rated team in my opinion. If you want more in-depth team breakdowns, comment which team and I got you for sure. I might do the Cowboys next. They have a really good lineup. And then I forgot that they also got Gilmore. Let me know what you're trying to see next. Appreciate you guys rocking with me. Hopefully I see some of you guys on the reg streets. I know I'll be out there.